right, today is gorgeous, so I am attempting to find some, well, I've, I've been to these off-trail waterfalls before, but it's, it's been a while. I don't normally like to do off-trail alone, but today's just as late day and I couldn't, I can't resist. It's like 70 degrees, but there's three of them, so we shall see, but it's so warm. Might not be 70 here, it was 70 at home. There's one though that you have to get in the water and it's rained a lot, so if it's too high, I won't try that. <laughs> Especially not by myself. But I did Courthouse Falls yesterday. My feet are a little tender today. I don't know if it's from the cold yesterday or what, but usually they don't really hurt the next day. But they feel a lot better than they did yesterday. <laughs> see if you can see. See the bruise? The little bruise right there on my foot from yesterday. eggs I think I could be wrong if I'm wrong correct me some kind of eggs gross they're all in here I don't know if you can see those over there those are like super green they must be but kind of cool I am going around that for sure So when I'm by myself. That kind of rubbed out is pretty big. <sighs> Alright, I've been walking on an old logging road for a while, <laughs> but I think this is where I leave the road and off trail, but I don't know where exactly, I mean the road definitely ends, so I definitely leave the road, I just don't I don't remember where. And also, it's been years since we did this and I was not barefoot. So I'm hoping that there's not a ton of briars. Briars are never any fun. All right, well, I'm just gonna wing it. Go towards the sound of the water, I guess. But most of that road was gravel. My feet were already kind of sore. So that was kind of annoying. But yeah, I've got some good briars here. Just gotta make sure to watch out for those. It's pretty cool looking. Kind of silvery.
almost looks like there's a faint trail. I'm just gonna try to follow that, I guess. Oh, I just about made it. That was straight uphill. Let's see if I can get down here. Try to get a little closer. That was the best way. It's very steep. Walked it up, but I'm getting sprayed. It feels pretty good. creep to the edge right here, being very careful. I'm gonna hold on to this tree. <laughs> I lost my way there for a little bit, but I made it back out to the road. That hike was definitely a test of my will. <laughs> Would I recommend it barefoot? Absolutely not. There are so many briars. But would I do it again barefoot? Probably because I'm stuck. <laughs> but, oh, so gorgeous. And now I have to walk back on this gravel road and hopefully I'm remembering right where this next waterfall is. Or even if it's the right waterfall I'm thinking of. It's seriously been a few years. So, fingers crossed. Check out the size of this tree. That thing is huge. A lot of dead branches though. I don't want to stay under it too long in a storm anyway. to get away from gravel wherever I go. <laughs> That's my nemesis. Alright, I think other fall is down this way somewhere. I just really hope that I'm not remembering wrong. Because Justin and I went to do two falls that day. 
One of them we never found. And then the other one we loved. I'm just hoping I don't have them mixed up. Because if I go off trail looking for that one we never found, I could get lost. Just have to be smart. Not wander too far. This is actually a nice little trail. It's way easier on my feet than that gravel was. I feel like it shouldn't hurt anymore. Ow! Anyway, I just feel like it shouldn't hurt that much anymore. But it does sometimes. I don't know if I just don't go often enough or the two days in a row was just a little too much. a little frustrated. All right, here's the creek that I'm supposed to walk up for a bit. Uh, I cut my pant legs. <laughs> this doesn't look too high. I think I'll be okay. I feel like I went this way last time, but everything of course is changed because it's rained so much. I feel like this is the right one. I probably should have done a little research just to double check before I started off on a wild goose chase. But I didn't, and here I am. And there's no reception, of course, here. So I have no way to check. Get out here and do my best. This is so much worse than I remembered. I don't even know. I think tons of trees have fallen since we did this. And I don't even know if I can get through here. I just really don't want to give up. I hate giving up, it's just not in my nature. the worst of the the blowdown like covered in dirt I had sticks all in my hair I picked them out though 
Oh, no is. If I'm not on the right creek, because this is definitely not a trail, but if I'm not going to the waterfall that I'm hoping I'm going to, I'm going to be super bummed out. That's cool looking. I don't know if you can see it. It's just one solid rock. I'm thinking I might skip number three if I find this one. Because what well, was it a different trailhead anyway? And I am wiped out already. It's weird. It feels like all my energy is just been zapped. I'm also kind of wishing I had brought something to eat. So I did. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just trying to kind of go along the path of least resistance. I'm starting to think maybe I should have left some kind of marking so I could find my way back. <laughs> There's a waterfall. This is not the one that I'm aiming for, but it's really pretty. Looks like all these rocks got washed down at some point. This is a little fall below it. I think they call it the stairs or the steps or something. Pretty cool. I can actually see the other fall up there. hard to tell how steep this is, but I have to climb up this to get up to the other waterfall. And it is straight up and brambly. So I'll probably just start filming again at the top. At the rest. Oh my word. That was straight up. This was short. So I can't breathe. <sighs> There's the stair falls from the top or from the side, I guess. Before I head back, 
but yeah, I'm gonna skip the third one. I just don't have it in me. These, both of these were a lot harder than I remembered. I'll do it another time. It feels good. Even though the water is cold, it feels good to put my feet in it. I'm dirty. <sighs> Bleeding a little bit, but not too bad. Bleeding. Ugh. I gotta stop that. It looks pretty cold from the top. one of those few times I really wish I didn't have to do this. I really wish that I didn't have to walk back. <laughs> Beat up. But at least I found it. At least I found it. But I'm done. <laughs> I got nothing left in me. I have to push to get back to my car. <sighs> I really do wish I had something to eat. And Jess, if you're watching this, I know that you do not approve of me doing this alone. <laughs> That's why I didn't tell you. You won't know until I'm safely home. And not that I'm in any danger. Don't think that. I'm not in any danger. Just a little tired. And I'd aim the camera at myself, but I work a sight. <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> but both waterfalls were gorgeous. And obviously, I have them to myself. I am wiped out. <sighs> My advice for someone wanting to do this fall, don't, just don't. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not too far. I really just want to sit down and rest. But yeah, this is me after three hours of hiking. Gotta keep it real, right? 
log is cool looking. You can't really tell, but it's soft. Every time something hits the arch, where that bruise is, let's see right there. Another one. Gross. I feel it's disgusting. Oh, I think it's bruised on top too. where I'm supposed to be. I'm hoping this might be the trail and I'm not lost. I think this is the trail. I think I actually might have saved myself a lot of hassle by coming this way. <laughs> Maybe I should have come this way to begin with. I mean, it's not easy. Something about how prayers on my arm, not my feet. Ow. See it right there. Big prayer. I think this is not the trail. And I'm lost. What? So I found this log and it bounces. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Yeah, it was a trail. <sighs> Definitely was easier. I will not say it was easy. Nothing about that was easy, but <sighs> I survived. My hair is caught. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there is a wild pig right by my car. What am I supposed to do? I've heard that they can be really aggressive. It's just staring at me. Uh, not cool. I'm terrified. <laughs> Try to zoom in. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't go over there. Uh, I've never seen one in the wild before. I've heard that they can be, especially if it looks like he's like looking for food and he's just staring at me and I can't get to my car. I'm just gonna have to sit here. I'm gonna have to sit here until he decides to leave. I'm so scared. <laughs> my heart is like pounding. I don't know what to do. <sighs> that was not what I expected when I came around the corner. If I thought I could sneak, because the driver's side is on the opposite side of him, but he's not moving. He's not scared of me at all. And I'm afraid if I walk towards him, he's going to charge me. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I'll just do my, uh, my, my wrap up here while... I wait. <laughs> it was not a muddy hike, so my feet are pretty clean. They're just bruised. Clean but bruised. And I'm starving. I know they talk about, like, people on the AT, they talk about hiker hunger. I'm like, 
Man, I get that on a day hike. <laughs> Yesterday when I went to um, Devil's Courthouse, I was gone most of the day and only packed myself applesauce and I got home and I think I ate like half a bag of tortilla chips with salsa. It was so good. <laughs> He's just staring at me. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. He just doesn't seem at all like intimidated by me. Like most wildlife will run away. This guy, he's like, if I could run over there and just jump in my car, I'm not, every time I move, he looks up at me. I just don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to get close enough where you guys can see him. He's actually really cute. He is a really cute pig. I guess he's a wild boar, actually. I don't, I don't really know the difference, but. Oh, I don't know what to do. to see his little hiney sticking out now. Well, it's not really little. He could really hurt me, I thought. Oh, and yeah, here we go. I backed up into a thorn bush and it's stuck. <laughs> uh, now he's getting closer to the other side of the car. So I definitely don't have a chance. Why is he not scared of me? Why is he right beside my car? I wish a car would come up here and scare him away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> battery is gonna die soon so you might not get to see how this ends <laughs> I'm creeping closer he, just, he doesn't look huge and I don't but I don't have my hiking poles I don't have anything I can protect myself with if he charges me I'm dead or at least uh, severely hurt. He's going around the other side now. I thought maybe I could sneak. But now he's too close to the driver's side. If he go farther that way, I could just climb in the passenger side. actually come up behind him than in front of him. This is probably really boring to you guys, but I'm terrified. <laughs> this has never happened to me before. I mean, I've seen bears. I've had to turn around for bears, but I've never been like afraid to get in my car. I almost brought my son with me. I'm glad I didn't. He looks kind of squishy, like you want to go give him a hug. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm so scared. I jumped in the back seat just because it was closer. <laughs> the door was closer. <sighs> but now I had to climb. The front of my feet are dirty. But I don't think he cared. You can see him right there. <sighs> ah, 
Good times. That's definitely exciting. <laughs> I wish Jess was here though. That would have been fun. <laughs> there he is. Oh my goodness. That was so terrifying. <laughs> Of the car, it scared him a little. He's peeking his little head around. Oh, he's kind of cute. With his little dirty nose. 